So, I mean, we've got over 4,000 square miles of battlefield in Normandy. It's huge. It's a big open-air museum. And, of course, you've got you've got the locations which are so famous. You've got St. Mary Glees, you've got Omaha Beach, you've got Pegasus Bridge, and so on from a British perspective. But these are relatively small-scale actions in what is a huge campaign. And, uh, of course... The more time you spend there, the more intimate you become with the region in terms of having that knowledge of the location and reading through battle diaries and so on. You, you get to learn of incredible events. And that's something I really wanted to, to put into the book is I wanted to tell the story, my interpretation of the strategy of D-Day and the battle for Normandy. But I didn't want to lose the essence of that personal connection for the individual on the battlefield. Uh, there were 21 uh, medals of honour or Victoria Crosses awarded during the Normandy campaign and I was amazed visiting the locations they were not memorialised they were just Sorry. well the majority you know there, there are memorials but I would say probably half uh, are not memorialised and, and certainly it's just incredible history which of course through such a huge campaign we can't cover everything that's why yeah. I think the main emphasis is always going to be on D-Day. It's such a momentous day in history. Whereas D-Day commenced a campaign in Normandy which lasted for almost three months. And, you know, it's a very small proportion of if either side of the the belligerent forces were, were deployed on day one. You know, the yes. majority of those forces came to arms against each other after this. And I do believe that the wider campaign is neglected. Yeah.